I can't believe this is my first time doing organic chemistry on this account, guys. We're going to go ahead and draw three constitutional isomers for C3H8O. So isomer means same molecular formula, different structure. So isomer is same formula, different structure. So my name is Andrew. There's a billion other Andrews. So we're isomers. We have the same name, but we're different people. So we have C3H8O. Okay. Right. And I just straight up drew the first isomer here because we have one, two, three, always count your carbons. We have three carbons. So this guy is C3. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is H8 and then that one oxygen that lives right there. So this is indeed C3H8O. And then I'm going to show you how to draw the line structure here. So we're going to go one, two, three. So every time we have a line, that represents a bond between the carbon. It doesn't represent the carbon atom itself. It means that there's an invisible carbon atom right here, an invisible carbon atom right here. And then we're going to add our third line right here to indicate the OH right here. So you might be saying, where's the hydrogen atoms? Well, there are some invisible hydrogen atoms that live on each of the junction points between the lines. And it takes a little bit of practice to see that, but over time you're gonna see that they're the same thing here. So this is our first constitutional isomer. Pause here and see if you can get a second constitutional isomer for C3H8O. And suppose what if I move my OH guy to over here, and then I'm gonna draw my OH guy over here. Make sure we count the carbons once again. So once again, we're gonna have our C3, one, two, three carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hydrogens, and then the OH right there. So this is indeed another isomer. Again, let's draw the line structure. So we're gonna have one, two, three, but then this time our OH lives right here. So that is our second isomer. And then what's gonna be our third isomer? So this one's gonna be a little bit crazy. What if we go, boom, C3H8O. What if I turn this one into an O, and then we have two Cs right here. Count the carbons. We're going to have one, two, three carbons still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight H's and one O. So this is still our third isomer. And this guy is going to look like this with the line structure. Again, we have the invisible H's right there that live on these structures right there. So that is our third constitutional isomer. So what about this guy here? So we have one, two, three carbons, but we only have one, two, three, four, five H's. So this is not a constitutional isomer, guys. So these are the only three constitutional isomers. My name is Dr. Andrew. This is part of the Hot Nerd Summer Challenge. If you're studying organic chemistry, DM me the word OCHEM to